Hey, it's Aaron, and today I'm with the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, the Santa Fe is sometimes overlooked just because uh, it's not the newest in the small two-row SUVs right now. This design, or well, this generation came out in 2019, and then there was a design refresh, I believe it was last year, and you see a uh, much better grill, much better look overall. They did a really good job on that refresh, keeping it current. Um, there are, I believe, five trim models for this. There are two options for this uh, as far as the engine goes. Uh, and then there are a couple of hybrid options on top of that. So the gasoline only models, which is, this is one right here. There are two options. Uh, it's a two and a half liter uh, little four cylinder. There is a 191 horsepower standard. And then there is a 281 horsepower turbocharged. This is the turbocharged one. It is also uh, all wheel drive. There's front wheel drive and all wheel drive options. This is the all wheel drive, which uh, Hyundai calls H-Track. So this is a wonderful, wonderful vehicle. Uh, seating for five, pretty decent size, easy to park, all of that good stuff. Uh, I'll show you the working end, especially the cargo area has really, it's really cool. Um, I'll show you that. And then also, uh, you know, the interior is really good and stuff. So we'll do a full walk around here. Um, wonderful vehicle that is often overlooked and you can't forget Hyundai's warranty. Um, yeah, one of the longest in the business. It's a selling point. All right, let's talk about design and then we'll get back in that working end. So on the design front, this isn't nearly as funky as the Tucson, the slightly smaller uh, one of these. And, you know, that's a good thing. This is a more contemporary uh, kind of a everyday vehicle. So you don't really want it to be too, too much. Uh, so you have a pretty plain line here, pretty obvious. Runs right across there. That creates your belt line here. But this is a, a, a I don't know, multiple lighting shelf. There's a curve to it right here, which creates this bright spot you're probably seeing, and then this flat part right here, and then this hard cut that goes down and in again right there. This creates three or four levels of lighting happening right here. This might, this cut itself might actually be a different level. So you have four levels of lighting here, and then a gentle curve, almost an S, which is pretty standard, to the door here, and then another cut here to create that uh, kind of running board um, rocker panel thing. It's more of a running board on this one. And then you see the curves around the wheels. So the wheel wells have these extra cuts to make them beefier without adding a bunch of plastic to do that, which is really cool. Um, and then the one back here, this is how automakers like to show off their, design, their build quality. They have one that goes right through the middle of the filler. And this filler uh, cover here is, you see, that draws your eye to it, and then you see how how clean the lines around it are. That's a that's how manufacturers show little things like that or how manufacturers show their build quality. It grabs your eye and makes you look at it and then you go, wow, that's uh, that's gotta be built really well because in the back of your head, you're noticing those details. So you notice the door seams are even, you notice those things. That's how we tell. So uh, up, up front here, you got a little dip in the hood here and then it comes over and that creates a similar thing to what's happening on the back end of the car. So all the way around, you have a really nice uh, kind of just a contemporary but very well done design. Um, the roof rails add to everything, make it look a little taller than it really is and it's just a, a great overall design. Now let's go look at what's happening in the cargo space because there's a it's there's some really cool stuff. Let's go check it out. Okay, so back here you can see that the it's pretty flat. There's not a whole lot of rake happening right here. Um, this is pretty pronounced, and then it's pretty flat right here. That creates more cargo space. There's a reason that it's designed that way. When we open up the rear, you see this big flat cargo space, and then those seats, I don't know if you can see it pretty well from there or not, those seats have a very, very steep angle to them. They're leaning back a lot. Uh, you can straighten those out. That's an option. You can also, in this particular one, you have electronic controls of that, so you can just push the button and the seat will fold for you uh, to give you that extra, that longer cargo space. Now, 
Back here, under this, normally you'd have your spare and stuff. This has an inflation kit instead. I believe a spare tire is an option, uh, but it will delete the next thing I'm gonna show you, which is awesome. That next thing is right here. So you have this multi-folding and removable thing right here, cargo cover right here, right? So if you fold it back like that, and then again like that, you have these, I'll show you a picture to get a better view of it, but you have these big t separated tubs for storage. You could put watermelon, bread, and uh, milk in there in, in each individual one and none of them will roll over the top of the other one So your bread will still be fluffy your milk will still be will be uh, still closed and your watermelon won't be smashed all over the place Because it rolled around on the back here Really really cool. Um, I really like that and then you know this this cover here like I said, it's removable and It's a very easy to operate. You saw me, I just did it one-handed, no issues. So really cool there, I really like that. Uh, and overall, big cargo space. For, so for a vehicle this size, this is a huge cargo space. Um, I'm gonna say, just off the top of my head, this is probably more cargo than you get in almost every one of these small uh, two-row SUVs like this. Um, so yeah, and there's D-hook tie-downs and you can get a uh, cover if you want that slides out all that good stuff. So really well done back here. Let's go look at the insides Back here in the back seat. You see that lean is way back, right? What I was talking about um, It's adjustable. Whoops So I can put it where I'd like right I like Maybe right about here. That's pretty much my sweet spot uh, This is a great back seat uh, that door opens to almost full 90 degrees, making it easy to get in and out. You can see with this seat set for me at six foot three and then moved back because I turned the car off, I still have knee room. And headroom is good. I've got another, I'm going to say that's nearly two inches, inch and a half, inch and three quarter at least. Um, so wonderful sit here, and that's with this panoramic sunroof, so that's a pretty good indicator that there's a lot of headroom here. Uh, there's a comfortable seating, there's USB A's down there, there's a household outlet in this particular model. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, nice setup. Um, yeah, I really like the back seats. I think they did a great job. I love the contours on the doors for the, uh, this, this one I believe has the Harman Kardon uh, stereo in it. Yes, it does. And uh, these little plastic contour kind of cool pieces look really cool. Um, same are on the front ones. And yeah, just a really great setup back here. Up front here for the driver, uh, same thing. Very comfortable. Door opens to almost full 90 degrees. Uh, easy to get in and out. Easy to find your comfy spot with this. Um, I'm at, so the seat's back further than I normally would be driving because it moves back about an inch and a half or so uh, when you shut the car off to get in and out. Um, headroom, again, the same as in the back. I've got plenty. Uh, I feel really comfortable and there's just enough bling. I'll show you a couple of pictures here. Just enough bling to keep this interesting. And Hyundai did not dump all the buttons and try to put them on a giant screen. Instead, they have a usable screen, but they still have buttons for most everything, uh, including shifting, which used to annoy me, but doesn't so much anymore. I'm getting more and more used to seeing it now, and so it's not as big of a deal. Um, but I love the layout in here. There's a little shelf for the passenger side to throw things on. There's a pass-through shelf under here. Um, there's lots of plugs, there's USBs. Uh, this has wireless charging. There's a 12 volt down there. There's a lot of little things in here to make it a comf comfortable, happy place and a place where you can put your stuff because we tend to carry a lot of stuff, right? Adam Sandler has a song about that. Well, how's it go? Uh, wallet, keys, phone. Keys, phone, wallet. Phone, wallet, keys. Phone, wallet. Something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what's happening here. Let's, uh, let's kind of wrap this up. I think, yeah, this is going to be a short one. Okay, there you go. That's what I got.
That's the uh, 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, really good family vehicle. Nice two row setup. Uh, comfortable, well done. Often overlooked because it's not the newest right now, but uh, uh, very much, very much worth it. So yeah. Oh, miles per gallon. I didn't talk about fuel economy. This is rated at 28 on the highway and I was getting 27 and a half on my highway loop. Um, so that's pretty good. I, I would say most people are going to get somewhere close to the actual, uh, the EPA's rating on this. So yeah, nicely done. That's what I got. This has been Aaron, 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe. Talk to you again soon.